my best ever Chelsea 11 um, and now we've reached the forwards which was a bit easier for me really um, than, uh, than I thought it'd be but there's still a load that could easily fit in I mean I don't remember um, Jimmy Greaves you know my granddad said our oh, greatest forward Chelsea have ever had um, and I don't really remember Bobby Tamling and obviously it was his record that, that Frank overtook so apologies to Jimmy Greaves and, and Bobby Tamlin because um, you can easily 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 have gone in there um, Diego Costa of course um, I don't know what to say about Diego Costa he certainly done a job for us didn't he um, but I had a long hard think and, and didn't put him in um, although he'd probably be on the subs bench um, along with Peter Osgood Peter Osgood um, I ummed and hard about whether to to put him in my forward line because he was an elegant footballer. Um, he uh, he scored some great, great goals for Chelsea. He could score from anywhere outside the box. He was a poacher. Um, he could head a great header of a ball, um, diving headers. You know, he uh, he was he was great. But um, I, I've gone I've gone against him and um, and I've gone for my forward line. Didier Drogba, because he was a big game player, and let's face it, European Cup 2012, need I say any more, but he was a big game player for us. Looking back, on, I'm watching on Sky, his 100 greatest goals, and uh, he was he was some player. And not only that, when he didn't score, he would bully teams. He would bully teams and create space for other Chelsea players to score. And I, I can't wait till we see the likes of him again because I think he's a he don't come along very often. He was a he was a proper proper footballer after he got that first season when he wasn't he didn't ingratiate himself to the Chelsea crowd by just falling over. Um, but after that, that stopped. And uh, what a player again! Uh, like Osgood, both feet in the air. Score, score some corkers from all over. But uh, in the box, he was a predator. Didier Drogba's me forward. And next to him, I've got Kerry Dixon. Um, after I finished sort of playing football at a decent level, I played sort of top-end junior football afterwards, and uh, I, um, I got to see Chelsea uh, a fair bit when Dixon was playing, and, uh, oh, what a player, what a player, um, both feet and in the air, he, uh, virtually unstoppable, and I think, um, if it hadn't have been for, um, all the managers changing, and some of, uh, and some of them not fancying him for some reason, I know, I know in that time there was David Speedy, um, the other one, Gordon Jury and the players are apparently all a bit fiery in the uh, in the dressing room. I don't know. I think Dixon had a stand up fight with one of them, so I so so rumour has it. Might be David Speedy. Uh, but anyway, there was a lot of games that Dixon didn't play. And I thought, why on earth are they not playing Dixon? Um, there was talk at one time about him going to Arsenal, um, but he was. He was some some footballer, and uh, and so because I saw a lot of him, and because he never disappointed. Another one like Drogba, he, he put his weight about as well. Um, I liked I liked Dixon a lot. So my two up front are Dixon and Didier Drogba. Now, now, uh, oh, oh yeah, I'll put I'll put. There's loads of great forwards there. Good Johnson was great for us. Um, uh, who else was the, the guy we got from Arsenal? Um, there's, the, there's loads. But anyway, I'm putting Osgood on the... Uh, Nicholas and Nilkin, that's what it is. Uh, there's loads. But I'm going to put um, Osgood on the on the bench for us because I've seen him. So sorry for Jimmy Greaves. I'm sure you should have easily got in the team or... or, or 
or at least been on the bench. But now I've come to worst players that I've uh, ever seen. I don't know, it's hard because uh, what, how do you quantify the worst player I've ever seen in a Chelsea shirt, I think, is Bakayoko. Um, I've never seen a player that that misses passes to his own player so many times. And he come with such a big reputation. I wonder what went went wrong. But I stood there, or sat, sat there, watching him, thinking, he wouldn't get in some park teams that, that I know. You know, and he probably would. He's probably a marvellous footballer in comparison to them up the park. But just shocking. In a Chelsea shirt. Bakayoko. Obviously, I've already told you about the goalkeeper. Barotta, he was shocking. Alan Mays, we signed from Swindon. I mean, I've not looked at his goal scoring record. But all I remember about Alan Mays is that, personally, is that he could miss from anywhere. Um, Doug Rugby. I mean, I... I'm being unfair on him, but he was such a limited footballer. We bought him from Aberdeen, and uh, oh, the first tackle I ever saw was he hit the bloke who pushed the ball by him, and I'm not exaggerating, the bloke flew into the advertising boardings and ended up in the front row. Didn't I think he got I think he got taken off, injured. Um and rugby got booked. I mean, now you wouldn't just get a red card; you'd get a prison sentence. But yeah, rugby. Other people, Bogard was shocking for us, and we couldn't get rid of him. He was on the uh, he was on the salary, um, uh, you know, on, on taking wage from Chelsea for years. Uh, Winston Bogart, but he was shocking. And the other one was um, Robert Fleck was pretty bad for us. Signed him from Norwich, big reputation, and uh, he was he was pretty poor for us. But he gave gave his hundred percent. But he was shocking. And Chris Sutton, Chris Sutton, crikey! Uh, when you think he left us and then got sixty three goals in about hundred and thirty games for for Celtic, and before he came to us, um, I don't know if we signed him from I think we signed him from Blackburn. I think he started off with Norwich. Or did he go to Norwich after us? I can't remember. But I remember the first game he played, threw on goal twice, one on one with a goalkeeper. Once he, I think he put his foot on the ball and fell over. And the ne the second time, he um, he kicked the floor and, and went over. And um, I don't know if that damaged his his um, his confidence, but I think we paid eleven million for him or something like that. And uh, he was shocking. Absolutely shocking in Chelsea. Gave 110%, don't get me wrong, but absolutely, uh, absolutely awful. Um, but no, my worst ever Chelsea player, it was a toss up between Alan Mays and um, and uh, Bakayoko, but I've given it to Bakayoko, maybe because more of you know him, but I thought he was awful. Awful, awful, awful in a Chelsea shirt. So that's me. That sort of sums up my um, all-time best Chelsea eleven. And for those that haven't watched the other videos, it was Peter Cech, just edging out Peter Vanetti. At right back, I had um, Ivanovic. Midfield, uh, sorry, centre half, I had uh, Ricardo Carvalho and John Terry. At right back, I had Ashley Cole, Benny McCready on the bench. Uh, midfield. I had um, Arjen Robben, Claude McAuley, Frank Lampard and Eden Hazard. And uh, up front, I had Kerry Dixon and Didier Drogba. Let me know your opinions and let me know what your best Chelsea eleven would be. And I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you'd hear, hear in, uh, what, the old, uh, what the old fella thinks. OK. Um, Carry on giving Chelsea support. They certainly need it right at this time. Um, we knew this season, 2019-2020, with Frankie Lampard and the youngsters wouldn't be easy. Um, and we've hit a bit of a, you know, a bit of a, a trough 
in uh, in form. So let's keep supporting Chelsea. Up there, Chelsea.